Sadly, far too many people in this world are reacting to life. Very few are living it because you're not in control of your own energy. You've surrendered it to something else that defines what reality is and tells you how to live your life and instructs you what to do and governs your actions and controls your reality and dominates your world. So therefore, they are actually getting you to set up the system of what you see as experiences of this landscape and environment, and you're just reacting to it because you're not controlling it. Who are you really? You're not your name. You're not your body. Who are you really? They're not going to tell you. You're cosmic. You're spiritual. You're an intellectual being occupying this physical space. It's not conducive to their propaganda and their agenda to make you aware of these facts. That's why you're controlled with fear, because you're reacting to things. You're not acting on your own behalf and taking charge of things, where you are controlling something, creating something, and responding to it in, in the form of, yes, I created this. What you're actually doing is you're looking at something else that was created by something else and going, oh, that's nice, not realizing that you had a hand in it. Who are you really? You're not your name. That was given to you from the time that your soul was inserted into this body. Who are you really? I've said this before. If they didn't tell you who you are and what you are, who and what would you be? They gave you this identity. You know, you're such and such and you have the race and class, color, creed, ethnicity. I'm this. Well, that's me. You'll point to yourself. This is me right here. No, it's not. This isn't you. This is a false identity in a false positive, false light, false network, false energy grid. That's what this is. These reptilians are good at what they do. They are superb at what they do. Getting the humans, which are not even human at all because you're not a human, getting the humans to believe exactly that what they're told is the truth and obey that without questioning, without fighting back, without resistance, without debate. And that's the danger because everything you're told once you listen to and you follow obediently and blindly and intently. You don't go, you know, wait a minute. I don't really jive with this. I, something's not settling right with me. I don't really want to um, listen to this stuff. You don't do that. You say, okay. And that's it. That's how they get everybody to think the same. When everybody's thinking the same, nobody's thinking at all. The minds of the few control the minds of the many. Remember that. Please remember that. It's time for you to awaken from your sleepless slumber and realize the unlimited transformative potential energies that you carry as a cosmic celestial being, homo luminous, not homo sapien. Journey within to cross over to the other side into consciousness, your higher self. You have to go inside to get away from this matrix because this is the suit that's connected to it. So your soul goes through this and takes the mind with it and off you go. And it shows the mind, hey, look at that connection that you can establish and maintain. And the mind is like, well, what is that? That's your higher self. That's your authentic self. That, my friend, is who and what you really are. Not who and what they told you you were supposed to be down there in that system. And the mind is like, well, I don't know. We're afraid. Well, the soul is like, well, of course you're afraid because that's all that you've been trained and taught and motivated to believe is fear, doubt, and uncertainty. Because that is the greatest blockage. Fear is the greatest inhibitor. If you wish for something not to manifest, be afraid. Inject fear in it. Doubt, uncertainty, and negativity come along with that for the ride. And that's what kills everything. You want to kill your dreams? Be afraid. You want to kill any type of concepts or visions or goals, hopes, aspirations, and desires you have for your life? Be afraid. Be uncertain. Be doubtful. You know, give yourself ridiculous amounts of excuses as to why you're not going to do it, but not one single reason why you should. Keep doing more of that and watch how fast your life goes right down the toilet. That's what they've been doing to you. They know what they're doing. They know how to manipulate human beings. They've been doing it to you for centuries. And they, can, they will continue to do it as long as you buy into it and believe it through fear. You have the capability of doing anything you want. You have to be conscious of it. You have to be aware of it. Whatever is occupying your imagination, whatever you're thinking about the most, that's what you're going to be projecting. So they, of course, they're going to take over that space. As soon as you come into this world, why do you think they get you right out of the womb? Why do you think they grab you right out of the womb? And why do you think it's illegal for you not to go to their schools? Your parents will be locked up and imprisoned for not sending you to their schools. What do you think that's all about? 
Indoctrination 101. They can't let any stragglers slip out. It's got to be an all-inclusive effort here, boys. We've got to get them all. Because if any stragglers, they might go off and start a revolution. We can't have that. You know? You see? I hope so. You're awesome. God bless.